Hi you guys, um, picking up the vlog. Today is Friday, November, <gasps> December 1st. It is Friday, December 1st, which is honestly insane. I feel like as every month goes by, everyone's like, oh, it's so crazy that it's already X, Y, and Z month. But honestly, it truly feels like, <sighs> where's the time going? I mean, maybe I'm just getting old. I don't know. I am coming up on a big birthday on New Year's Day. My birthday is January 1st and I'm turning, turning 30. I'm turning 30. Freaking insane. I can't even wrap my head around that. I feel like I am still, I feel like I'm still like 26, 27. I think that's a good age. Not that this is a bad age, but uh, yeah. But yeah, big birthday coming up. I put my honey in my coffee, which I've been, sorry, ADHD <laughs> moment for me, but I have been, you're like in my thing, <clears throat> putting Manuka honey. Got this little tiny Manuka honey bioactive in my coffee because I was having like issues with my stomach, like right around when we were moving and then into like the first few weeks of being here like my appetite was just really off and if you know me at all which you probably don't if you're watching the vlog but thank you for being here um i am a girl that like is always hungry it's like no matter what time of day it is i'm like yeah i could eat but i was like struggling to eat which i know this is like not a light topic at all but um i've never never experienced any like issues surrounding eating but anyway i was at st lawrence market honey guy was selling honey and he gave me like so many samples which was it was so tasty but he was going on about how like good manuka honey is for your digestive system your insides and i avoid like sugar and stuff but i'll do maple syrup and honey so i got the manuka but i'm gonna go back and get like a full size manuka um but yeah so, been putting in my coffee. My stomach has improved. I've also been working out <clears throat> much more consistently, which I think is like one of the biggest things to help my stomach. But anyway, just checking in. Long-winded intro. I'm just sat down right now. I just did treadmill, hot tub, pool, and steam room, um, and I feel so much better. I was kind of feeling like blah. It's really like. I'll show you. It's just super gray and like it was like kind of raining and now it's like slowly snowing you can see a little bit but yeah it's kind of like a blah day and we just went to watch the Leafs game last night and I had like I only had two and a half drinks and I feel like slightly hungover but I guess that's what happens when you're almost 30 your body like just does not metabolize alcohol the way that we used to and I really feel the difference being this age but this spot that we went to they yeah it was just like really busy and like the vibe was like pretty good I've served by the way like for years and years and I need like a little part-time hustle because I'm trying to get social media off the ground in terms of like making money but the girl needs money to buy things and live life um so yeah, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna ask the manager like if they're hiring because it was so, it's like so close to our house and I don't know, it just looked busy and I just like had a feeling. I was like, I should just ask. So I went up to the manager and he was like, yeah, we're kind of like always hiring. We're like opening a new location um, on Bay in York, which is like financial district. So I was like, wait, like this could be really good. Um, and yeah, so I just like asked and he like literally was like, what's your email? Gave my email, went to sit back down when we were sitting. And then I get an email and he's like, okay, like tomorrow 3.30. So right now it's 2.45, which I have to like go in a second and get ready. But yeah, I like have a job interview. So I think I might have a job, which is amazing. I just need some cash. But uh, that's my update. Very long winded. But yeah, I think I'm going to hop on TikTok live right now um while i do my makeup which i need to do right to right right now and um yeah that's me that's my update uh i'll take you along for the weekend i have no idea what i'm gonna get up to but i'll let you guys know and that's all for now <laughs> bye
Saturday night. We are at my boyfriend's um, aunt's house for dinner, which is so cute. I'm wearing a cute little outfit. I have this chain on that's from Vitaly. Earrings are Pilgrim. Blazer is thrifted. Shirt is dynamite. This little bag is thrifted. Look at a little NYX lip liner. And my pants are Reformation. <laughs> okay. Unreal. You said she's 13? Yeah, no, she's 11. 11, okay. Yeah. Mm. guys good morning um it is tuesday december 6th i think december 5th tuesday and i am just making a little bit of breakfast before i head out i'll just sit down and explain i got invited to this event with this like it's like an alcohol brand so it's harvey's Bristol Sherry. It's like an alcohol brand that's been around for a long time. And they're doing like a little, I guess, like kind of like whatever Christmas event. And it's like um, cocktail making and then like small bites. And yeah, I got invited and I'm gonna go solo because my friend Celeste couldn't come. I asked if she was free and Eric's at work. So I'm just gonna go alone. Um, but yeah, so I just got ready for that. I'll see if I can show you. My outfit is these new a goldie jeans that i got with this like they come with a cup really like wide legged and through the perfect height with a boot and then on top i just have this reformation like little like ribbed shirt let me see if i can show you i got this like last year and it has like these like little slits but i just thought it was a really cute little Outfit, I just wash my hair, put it up, keeping the little bang pieces down, and then I'm just deciding if I want to do this bag, which I thrifted, and I love this bag. It's like, it's better if you just hold it, like, it's kind of like a this type of bag, but she's so cute. It's kind of like Isabel Moran. It's like the most beautiful, like, olive with the gold hardware, and I'm wearing, like, gold jewelry also this is a disaster because i'm just doing a million things at once yeah i'm just making a little bit of oatmeal right now making a little bit of oatmeal just super simple with some cinnamon some maple syrup and then we have some fresh blueberries so i'm just gonna do that i'm not even like super super hungry um but this is like an alcohol event, which it's also literally 12.30 p.m. Because the event is at 1. I gotta leave in like 15 minutes. Um, but yeah, it is like, I guess I'm gonna be like having a couple drinks. But it's like sherry, it's not like vodka. Which is good because 1 p.m. for alcohol just seems a little aggressive. But... It's gonna be kind of like chill. I'm, it's probably gonna be like, you know, some like festive cocktails, I'm assuming. Just 
treating everything as like a networking opportunity and it's really cool like i'm excited to go just it's just fun to get to go to like these events and like try some drinks and some food but i mean ultimately when you're in a new city like these are like networking opportunities and you never know who you're gonna meet and you never know like where it could lead so that is the approach with this also living in canada like having access to just like really nice like amber maple syrup for like six dollars it's so nice it's crazy how much more expensive this is in the u.s like when i would go to new york i'd be like there's no way you guys are paying like twelve dollars for like a small mm, little bottle oh my gosh it tastes it tastes so good this tastes like <laughs> this tastes like canada if that makes sense um i'm all over the place as you can tell so i'm gonna go because i can already first see myself running out the door in like a panic Mmm. It tastes so good. crisp day even though it's five degrees celsius but it really feels colder um i just had a teeth whitening or no a teeth cleaning and x-ray checkup which are the things that you don't want to take time out of your day to do but the things that you absolutely need to take the time out of your day to do so this is your this is your sign to go book a dental appointment but I'm just going to get a matcha right now just to walk something hot in my hands. And I'm at this place called Found. Yeah, Found. You found us. So cute. I'm gonna get the matcha. I don't know what else they have. They have like toast and then drinks. So we'll see. I don't know. <laughs> This just tastes so good and I got it unsweetened with almond milk and I've just put a little bit of honey because I've been on such a honey kick lately. Like I love using honey in my coffee and in matcha. I'm just gonna walk through Trinity Bellwoods right now. I might go to the ordinary and get a little serum. in LA like right DTLA and this honestly reminds me of it so much I haven't really been in another store that reminds me of that until now but it's like yeah it's actually very similar weirdly but went and grabbed two omusubis which I use, I'm used to calling it onigiri, and I don't know if there's like a slight difference. Um, I really actually don't know, I should find out, but it was so good. I got spicy pork, I got salmon, and yeah, really good. Like very cheap, like just under $9 for two, but like they were really large portions. Hello, don't mind the absolute state that I'm in right now, we just, Got to Montreal, I ended up driving the entire way, which was like four hours. Nonetheless, I'm not gonna chat for too long. Just wanted to show you the little hotel. So you walk in, bathroom, and then we just have this little couch, which all of our stuff is immediately all over. Just the bed, little TV, wardrobe, and then that's the view. We are, we're at the Omni. 
which is on Sherbrooke, which is like right downtown. So our view is just kind of all the the buildings. Um, but yeah, that's us right now. We are making quick moves because I'm meeting a friend at like 7.15 um, to get a couple drinks. And before that, we're gonna use the pool, or not the pool, I think they just have a hot tub right now because the outdoor pool, you can actually see it is frozen over. It's like outside, but it was covered last time, I swear. It's like right there if you can see, and it's literally frozen because it's so snowy in Montreal too. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go to the hot tub, work out a little bit before that, and then come back, shower, and get ourselves down to Old Port because we want to um, just see like the Christmassy vibe of Old Port. Since there's no snow in Toronto, we're like so hype to have snow. It's like snow in December, what a concept. So that's me right now. Gonna run down, it's kind of a little bit tight for time because it is four. Um, but yeah, we're gonna make the best of it and yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> Honestly, it's kind of perfect branding. Um, oh, oh my gosh. Okay, wait. Can we just take a look? I just came from Toronto where there is, we have not, we literally haven't got snow. You realize that, right? Oh, really? Like, no, no, we literally, literally, there's, have not had snow. Like, I'm telling you, when I left Toronto today, it was 10 degrees and it's like snowy here, but honestly, it's actually kind of really nice. It's so yeah. cute. Cute. I miss Also, I saw a hot guy tonight, think fuck. I love that for you. Um, look how cute we're at. What's this park called again? Square St. Louis. Yeah, Square St. Louis. Good old Square St. Louis. Good old Square St. Louis. Um, I will say, Montreal is so much fucking cuter than Toronto. What did I do? Way cuter than Cut the tapes, we can't say that. Um, Toronto is just like, it doesn't have this, like, it's not this cute. But I thought Montreal was depressing. I think I was just, I think Toronto, I think I'm just depressed. Ah, uh, yeah. Isn't but it the also, you know, consequences worry. of my own actions? <laughs> Hate that for me. Um, but yeah. 
anyway, <laughs> the point of this was we just are finishing our night. We're walking to the metro. My one little metro drive of the day. Or what? One, one little bit. One metro ride of the trip, not the day, but yeah, we're going to the metro. We're going to Sherbrooke, and I'm going to go to Gap. Well, I can't even talk. I'm, gonna go home and I'm a little bit drunk. I'm a little tipsy. Um, <laughs> yeah, as you should. But yeah, I'm gonna get off a peel and go home and sleep, and then we're gonna have our last day in Montreal tomorrow. But it's gonna be cute, so that's it. Bye, vloggy vlog. Bye, vloggy, love you. <laughs>